Time Hotel. Uh, we are getting ready to do a good show this evening, but the thing about it is, is everybody wants to know why we are on it and why there's clowns in the middle of Nevada. Well, the reason why there's a whole bunch of clowns here in Nevada is we're going to go ahead and start inside here in a second. So let's go ahead and get started. We are in the uh, cemetery. Um, so right here in the front, we have Frank and George. And unfortunately, Frank and George, uh, there was a uh, mining car. It had a shovel as a handbrake. It, something happened. It started rolling. They tried to stop it. When it flipped over, George was killed instantly. Frank, he uh, lost both his legs. He died that night. So both the brothers are buried here. We are actually going to come visit them on the way out because uh, we do get a lot more activity on this side of the cemetery than we do on the other side. But there's reasons why I need to go to both sides. So, right here is uh, Clarence. As you see, he's got a little uh, clown hat for uh, part of his uh, grave. Um, so this is the father. He died in the mine fire, like I said, February of 1911. It was a huge built, uh, fire in the mine. It was at the Biltmore, just right up the street. And when this thing went, they lost a lot of lives. We are going to meet Big Bill here in a little bit. He actually saved lives before he lost his own life. Um, now, as you guys can see, we actually have some uh, graves that are actually caved in. And there's a few reasons for that. Right now... But as you guys see... There he is. So... He is with us. So, um, we are going to stay heading to the back of the cemetery. Uh, on the way out there, you might want to turn your equipment. Okay, on the way out there? Oh, yeah. They sent him to the Miners Hospital, and when he died in the Miners Hospital, they brought him out here. Now, um, rural history about the cemetery. Between this one and the new one out there, uh, they were uh, trying to move the cemetery, so some people did get uh, moved. And some of the graves um, crackers got moved over there as well. Now, as we start walking down through here, um, unfortunately, oh yeah, see, you get, we're getting all kinds of stuff, but we're going to kind of ignore everything. Yeah, going. that obelisk is going off like crazy back there. Yeah. Uh, is there a guy named Tim here? Yes. Did you just get a Tim? Did you yeah. just get the name Tim? Mm -hmm. He just said there's a Tim here. Yeah. So... And I'll explain why I kind of skip everything, you know, on the way out. Because if we just stayed in one area, we could stay in one area for the whole hour. <laughs> we could be here the whole night. <laughs> yeah. And no one would understand, you know, the who, what, where, why, and the when. Now, there was a whole bunch of flooding. There was a whole bunch of, you know, other things going on. And that's why when I say the motel might still be on some of the old cemetery grounds because a lot of people did get washed away. Again, this is all the kids down here. Are you alright? You guys okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. So the reason why I had us come all the way out here, because I can tell you all day long, you know, right here at the tailings of this gold mine that people can go walk to during the day. 
Uh, when I say people get washed away and things happen, so we have a whole bunch of Oriental people that there was a riot because they weren't allowed to work the mine. So there was actually a riot and they were actually killed. But the thing about it is, is they're not buried on this side. They're over here. So they're literally buried on the other side of the fence. So they're closer to the tailings of the uh, mine. So like I said, people got washed away. Some of the graves were washed away. They had coffins going down the street. So is the Clown Motel on part of the cemetery ground? Not 100% sure, but more than likely, I would say yes. You know, because of how haunted it is. Yes, people did die at the motel. But we're talking years ago. So, you know, that's why we get to death. Now, when I told you Sheriff Logan here, you know, 19, 1902, had a run in with Wyatt Earp. And we all know Wyatt Earp after the OK Cross shooting of 18... Hundreds of 18, 89, 80s, 90s. Um, the hell is that? He came up here. You see that? So, uh, but Sheriff Logan did get the Purple Heart. He's got, he was uh, th uh, elected three times over. The only problem was is he liked to go to the brothels. He liked to do other things. And one night he was at a brothel and uh, there was a fight, they went and got him, said they needed help. All he did was put his bathrobe on, went out to the uh, deal with it. The guy went and got his gun, the sheriff realized he forgot his gun, and they were able to shoot the sheriff. Damn. Yeah. That's why, again, you know, it was the Wild West back then, you know? So yeah, so sheriff here, And we are going to go see Big Bill William. Yeah. So Did yeah, they, you guys... They rewind. Yeah. It's just talking about our cameras. Yeah. Hide? Wide. Wide. Murphy. Is there a Murphy here? I think so. I got a... Yeah, and when we went there, and you were talking about the Chinese... It said workers. Yeah. Did it really? Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, so they are the workers, but the thing about it is they weren't allowed to work the mine. They were only allowed to do cooking and other stuff. Yeah. And that's yeah. when the uh, riot hall and that took off. And yeah, so a lot of them were killed at the riot. There is one of them that died of opium overdose. So yeah, um, there's not really a happy story out here. I took their own lives after a while. You know, there's one woman out here, she uh, was killed for her uh, jewelry. You know, they they dragged her across the plains and uh, stole her jewelry. And then there's little Miss Bina that's up here in the front. She was stealing money from uh, men, and uh, one guy fell in love with her. She wanted nothing to do with it, and he told the authorities when the, uh, her trial was happening, they uh, she went and sold a lot of stuff that she has gotten from guys and uh, came up here, drank herself to death, and when she died, she made world news. And then we have uh, politicians from African Americans, his name is David uh, Gelman. Everybody liked him, but his wife. He would go home, domestic violence and whatnot, so one night she went to his balloon and shot him in the small back. What you got one year for? So, as you guys see, we are, and we are getting stuff out here. Yeah, that thing's talking like yeah, crazy. Yeah, <laughs> What did it say now? Car wrecked. Okay. Car wrecked? Car yeah, wrecked. loving. That, that is uh, George that I'm talking about. Is that George? Yeah, that is George and Frank. The car wreck. Okay, it was a car, it was a, it was a gold car. You know, they put the uh, rocks in and all the stuff. And you gotta realize, they had a brake. But the brake car, car they used a shovel handle for a break and when that thing failed they killed George and Frank so that's where they come up with the car accident so they're talking about it right now oh, yeah. air new <laughs> huh car accident he said and then air new 
That's crazy. Yeah, it it's is. talking. It's talking a lot. Oh, yeah. We got nothing in the last hour. It's My first hour, I've got I yeah. have got anything. My second hour, a little bit more. Okay. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, um, whoa. Uh, Chris, you just talked about this. It just said a fair on there. Yeah. It just said a fair. You just talked about that. Yeah, Sheriff Logan. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, Sheriff Logan had an affair because, you know, he, he was married, six kids, and uh, he was going to the brothels, you know, and that's where he got killed. He went to the brothel, you know, because there was a girl he liked, and, uh, but yeah, so when the fight broke out, he realized he didn't have his gun on Well, Chris, that thing is just confirming everything that you said. Good. All right, guys. Welcome to Big Bill. Okay. Again, 20-some years old. Uh, he, he was a hero of heroes. He went down the mine three times on the elevator to get people out. Saved 17-something lives, 17, 18 lives before he lost his. He asked people to go down and help him. Nobody went down to help him. So he was doing it by himself. He was going down there, grabbing people, getting them out of there. And the third time, he did not make it. So, but he got as many people out as he could. And this is, and this is where Bill lies now. His name's Big Bill, and he actually died saving lives. So he's our actual hero. Digging. Did it just say digging? Yeah. That just said digging, Chris. Okay, now, let me get back to some of these other graves. See how some of these are all sunken now? Yeah, we were noticing okay, that look, earlier. I'm going to tell you right now why this happens. One, you're talking 1900s. You're talking pine boxes, okay? What had happened was you got all this rain, all this snow and everything. The, the ground gets all moist and everything. So what had happened was it start, starts decaying like anything else. And then where there's supposed to be a coffin... If it's not there no more, it's going to sink and go away. So that's where they start sinking in. Then, on top of it, like I said, they were trying to move some of these graves to the new mine, to the new cemetery, so they can build. You know, the mine and do what they were going to do. So, if you go to the new cemetery, you'll actually see crosses and everything else down there with the same names. So, did they get moved? Are they still here? That's the question we still don't know. Okay, hence why we're still kind of haunted. Because even though you move things, doesn't mean the spirits go right. out of their box. Right. So, again, reasons why. Okay, it's not just because you know. It's because they were trying to build a mine. They were trying to build a motel, and things were in the middle, and they decided they want to take them down the street. But then all of a sudden, you got to realize the plague hit, you know, and then all of a sudden the mine fire, and then they just put a hole on everything. This poor guy over here, perfect example. Okay? Don't know if he got moved. We don't know if the water washed him away. Because again, you have water coming down here. Because every time it rains, it floods, you got water coming down here. So again, there's supposed to be a coffin here. Don't know if the coffin got moved, the coffin got washed away, or you know, it just disintegrated. We don't know. But unfortunately, this poor guy here died in a cave-in, and then again, his, uh, his grave site collapsed right on top of him. Wow. Can't catch a break, dead or alive. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so yeah. So this is why these things sink in now, okay? It is because, you know, wood after a while doesn't last. We all know this. But when you have water washing down and everything else, that's why some of these you see the crypts, okay? For the simple reason, they found out, oh my gosh, water's coming here, these people are getting washed away. I don't want my family member to go anywhere, so that's why you see some of them with crypts, some of them not. And if you actually look at some of them, they look like something from back east, New Orleans. So these people knew if they were from back east and there was flooding, they, they knew how to, you know, make sure no one went anywhere. Okay? 
shows you more history out here than, you know, a little bit of everything else. So again, we got George and Frank right here. You know, trying to stop uh, my uh, car, uh, a car that was, uh, you know, with a, with a faulty uh, brake. They use an old shovel handle. You know, shovel handles don't work very well. And again, you know, they died instantly. You know, and then Frank died that night of his injuries because he lost both his legs. And, uh, you know, they got into the hospital where, you know, he died that night. So they put the brothers together. So, but as you guys see, we can get all kinds of readings out here. We can get, but with the sense of staying out here when I tell you people get washed away and I have to literally show you, you know, hey, there's people, the placards here, but they're buried over there, you know. But then again, when they put in that trailer park up there, they found bones and other things. Oh, did they? Oh, yeah. Wow. So, yeah, they found stuff up there. So There's supposed to be 300 plus uh, by, uh, people buried here. But like I said, how many people got moved to the other cemetery? How many people, you know, is not unaccounted for, for obvious reasons? You know? So, again... This is why, you know, things happen for a reason. But as you can see, we're just sitting up here and we're getting all different kinds of readings now. See? Is that, that thing still talking? Yeah. Have you heard it been talking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did it say now? Crust. It said crust? Soldiers. Soldiers? Crust. Okay. I can tell you, we're standing, this whole aisle right here, this is all Civil War vets. Whoa. Oh, wow. So it just said soldiers, you said, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. Him. All right, so here's the thing. Now, you want to know how someone's either from the north or south? If one of the crosses... Um, I'll show you. Jose Red died uh, Civil War vet. See, he was a veteran. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And if you notice, Civil War vets, their, their, their headstones are a little bit different. You can't sit on them. Hey, Chris, is there somebody here named Tom? Because uh, it just said the name Tom. Yeah, we got, yeah, we got Doc, we got Tom, here, let me go, let me go back in the mine. Okay, so if we got, so this is all mine. So we got Doctor, Limit, Rock, Tools, uh, let's see, Junior, and get away. We got a Zoe. It just said cough. Yeah, uh, yeah, cough was from the uh, the plague. You gotta realize people were uh, dying from see cold. Oh, yep, cough, cold, yeah. Yep. It just said ship. See, we had Jacob, William. See, there's William. We even talked to him a couple times. It so. also said Anthony. Did it also say Anthony? Yeah. Anthony. Is there an Anthony around? Uh, it just said Jam. <laughs> Look what it said. Earthen? Earthen? Yeah, we got a Sophie... See, I got shipped too. Oh, you got shipped too, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. 
to um, pilot. Got Adam. Just said all right. <laughs> Oh my god, look what it just said. Yeah. It just said graveyard. Mm -hmm. I gotta get that on camera. Okay, that was pretty cool. It just said graveyard, and then it just said loud. Yeah. Did you guys get to see it say graveyard? And it, So it said graveyard, and then it switched to loud. <laughs> so yeah. That was pretty cool. Okay, that was that was pretty... Sometimes this thing's really spot on, yeah. and that, that was yeah, spot on. Yeah, that was on. like mine. It said stick. We went to the stick earlier, and yeah, it was going off like crazy. Paranormal. Oh, so, did it say paranormal? Yeah. Okay. So, it said Apple now. Yeah, they're, they're looking for food. This is... Okay. So, for people that know about uh, Day of the Dead in Mexico, November 1st and 2nd, you know, they take food out there. Fruits, vegetables. You know, this way, anything out there. This is why witching hours from 3 to 4 o'clock. Because between 3 and 4, any spirits are out there. If they have enough energy, they can cross over. Okay. Because okay. there's people, they say that are stuck here between here and wherever they want to go, and so you give them food and whatnot, and this way they can just cross over, you know, three or four o'clock. That's why they're asking for apples. That's why they're looking for certain foods. Anything that can rot or decay will give a spirit energy, and it'll, and it'll help the spirit, you know, do what it needs to do. That's why, you know, I had one ask for a cigarette one day. We left them a cigarette. <laughs> one ask, yeah you know one ask for alcohol but we don't drink so but yeah so this whole thing this whole row is all civil, civil war vets so that's why it was saying soldier and yeah, all that that's yeah. why it was saying that yeah see you guys see and the whole thing is is um yeah it's amazing what goes on out here and I'm glad you brought your device because you know I could I could sit out here and tell you everything all night long and I just don't have time. Yeah. <laughs> but And know. it was funny, too, because the device, like, verified every, like, when you would talk about it, the device would say it after you talked about it. Like, when you, you said affair, and then the device was talking about an affair. Yeah. So, are we haunted? Again, yes, we are, but not like people think. You know, we haven't got scratched out of here. We, nothing bad happened to anybody here. You guys been here all literally all day. All day, right. And nothing's happened to you guys. We've even used a Ouija board and nothing's happened. <laughs> yeah. So our, our our haunting is not like what people think. You know, and I hate to burst this everybody's bubble. You know, everybody wants to come out here and get the wow factor. I mean, but just to be out here and be around history, I think that's more of a wow factor. 